Stay. Get. Good job, Bubble. Would you look at that? The car's gone. And we got this thing. Which, like I said, is in pretty rough shape. But we got a bunch of lumber with it. I don't know if you all remember the big old trash piles I had back here. Not that I ever showed them off. You might have seen them in the background. Got them mostly cleaned up. Hopefully we'll get the rest of this out of here in the next couple days. That'll be nice. We've gotten a dozen eggs in the last three days. So the old chickens are doing good. So we're just using this as a shed. It needs some cleaning. Some of the stuff was in here when we got it. This is the stuff I put in here. It leaks around the skylights, which all of these old RVs do. So we'll have to get that straightened away. I think it'll make a really nice shed and work area. I don't know. We'll have to get the outside of it looking a little nicer. I'm pretty unhappy about that. But even if I just paint over it real quick, that'll be an improvement. And look, it came with a bird nest. They're fake and glued down. But it's kind of cute. Chickens, you're out in the snow. Why are you out in the snow? Chickens seem to be doing really good since we gave them a light. We turn their light on at about 4 o'clock in the morning. Back up to between 2 and 4 eggs a day instead of 1 a week. Well, that's a definite improvement. I'm feeding little baby bunnies this whole thing full twice a day now. But there ain't nothing too little about these little baby bunnies anymore. Look at how big they're getting. All huddled up there next to their mama. We gotta get in and clean them today, this weekend. At least one of the Clydes has some poop stuck on his shoulder. Hi guys, did you come to visit? No, not really. Came to visit as long as I don't want to touch you, huh? And this guy right here's got a turd stuck to his shoulder. Keep being happy little bunnies. I learned they like banana peels. Oh look, there's two of them with poop stuck to them. So they've been getting a banana peel every other day or so. Seems to make them happy. Alright guys. I'm glad to see you want to come visit. Maybe you just want to look at the camera, huh? Everybody likes being on TV. <laughs> Bye Miss Jane. Alright. We got some more celery. Last time we tried this, we didn't have baby bunnies yet. And the big bunnies acted like they were scared of it. Do you guys want any of that? No, you guys don't want none? I miss Jane. There you go, Gray. Get it, baby girl. Get it. We still gotta get them cleaned. Gray is one of the ones with poop stuck to her. Mm -hmm. Mama Jane's in there getting her some. Did you guys come steal a piece? I don't think so. Inky? Gray Clyde? I guess you're just gray now, not gray Clyde, huh? Yeah, because the Clydes are ghosts. She's not. Well, these guys definitely ain't scared of celery no more. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good.
Your head's wet. Happy little bunny rabbits. Well, we're supposed to get some nasty weather this weekend. So, we decided we needed to make an emergency run for animal feed. Maybe some water bottle toppers for the rabbits. I'll let you see what we get. Alright, that's what we got. It all last a minute. Hopefully these work as good water pans. We already had some chicken food. We ought to be good for a month or two, hopefully. We've been making all kinds of progress on our new Dollar General. It says it's a Dollar General market. I guess that means we'll have more produce this fall. The can be open anytime. I'm pretty excited. This will be the nicest thing in our little town. We ain't got a whole lot. Broken deep freeze from a friend of ours. Rocks once again. And it's going to work for food storage to keep it out of my damn house and keep the critters out of it. I'm pretty happy about that. Although I don't think all 200 pounds we bought today is going to fit. The new rubber pans we got are going to be for the chicken water this winter. So we don't break the pool when it all freezes. We broke one last winter. Derpy bird. We've been doing pretty good on eggs. Since we gave them this light. So we turned it on about 4 o'clock in the morning. We got 7 eggs yesterday. So far only one today. But it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning, so that ain't bad. Yeah, that's the ceramic one, I think. Pretty sure it's the ceramic one. All right, chickens. You girls need to lay some more eggs today. I wonder what that bird just ate. Who knows? Huh. I can't tell which one's ducky unless I can see the leg band, and I don't see it. I think that might be ducky. Nope, no leg band there. Hey, ducky. There's ducky right there. There she is. <laughs> ducky and derpy. And that black one's bitey. She's mean. That's the bitch. She's mean. And there's the unhappy Omi. This came off of a broken, that broken, rabbit water, but it fits on a 20 ounce bottle. And I have another one somewhere. So that's the plan for this winter in freezing temperatures so I can change out water bottles midday and make sure the rabbits always have some un, unfrozen water, bought out water. I don't know, however you want to say it. Not ice in their bottles. Should keep them being happy rabbits, I hope. Well... Until it gets really cold, they have slushy water. I used one of these rubber pans to keep their food out of the mud. They sort of like that. We got four eggs yesterday. Seven the day before. It looks like there's three in a ceramic in there so far today. Doesn't look like anybody's laying any eggs over there. Or over there. They seem to like their stuff though, huh? Well, that's good. The real snow hasn't even got here yet. The snow or the cold. By this weekend, I think those rubber pans are going to be holding water. And that's going to be for their food to keep it out of mud and snow. I wish you guys would quit biting me. It's not very nice, you know. You can't come bite this foot just because I put the other one on camera. Alright, chicken. See you guys enjoy. We'll see you later today when we come get more eggs.